the next day, other recruits disobey orders. Sergeant Brown immediately reacts. Your actions speak louder than your words, and your actions show that you are failing. Some of you want to continue to move, run in place, go! You better keep your gear in your hand. Hurry up! I said go! Hurry up! Get up! Hurry up! Can't you all clear? You will not run my academy. Right now, there is a target on your chest because you are failing to meet my expectations. This will continue day in and day out until you are right. And when I say you, I mean everybody. Oh, on your feet, five, four, three, two, one. So you're gonna start paying your debts. I will get what I want. And you will get what you need. Do you understand? Yes, Sergeant! Jumping Jazz, go. Let's go, one cup. The boot camp's philosophy to regain control of life is well underway. For the soldiers, anything is possible through suffering. Stand up. And the slightest mistake will not be left unpunished. Put your hands over your head. Push ups! This young man is having an asthma attack. He's on the verge of asphyxiation. Sergeant Yin knows about his illness, but this is the third time that the young boy has forgotten his inhaler. Where's your inhaler at? It's in the, the base. Whose fault is that? How many times I tell you I've got your dog on inhaler? Go get your inhaler! Go! I want to hurt anyone here. Um, even though this, even though I want the kids to be right, I'm not gonna do it at the expense of their health and, um, and, and their life. Bear crawl! It is in these extreme conditions that the boys and girls will undergo two weeks of the integration stage. Some will give up along the way. Others will become cadets and start cadet school. They will then go down a different path to the others. Four. Left. 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 I shouldn't see anybody making bunks anymore. You've got plenty of time. Let's go. After two weeks, it's the big day at Stockton Boot Camp. No more gray track suits. The recruits are to wear the uniform. From now on, they are cadets. Only two of the 133 young people have cracked and given up after six days. 19, 18. Nicholas, though dragging his feet, is still there. At girls' camp, Marisol, too, is holding on. And as a cadet, she's earned a small reward. Good. I have a daughter right there. <laughs> she's allowed to keep Reina's picture with her. So I passed my acclimation phase. Now I can carry her around with me and not get in trouble. <laughs> that feels good. On the way to the cadet ceremony, the female cadets enjoy a moment of freedom. Having been deprived of music for 15 days, they can finally have fun. And it's the sergeants who are leading the way. It's their time right now, they have fun, so it's all good. You have to let them have that every now and then before we bring down into the back to the structure. But I like seeing this a lot. And Sergeant Montiel takes the opportunity to show them his hidden talents. I think it's really cool because we never see the like, yeah, we never see their personality. Never. You, you show them a little softer side. They've earned it. So they're, not, they're not candidates.
cadets anymore. They're now cadets. The cadet ceremony is an important step in rebuilding the lives of these young people who, until then, had missed out on life. We must show them that today they are on the road to success. I'm nervous. And to mark the event, it will take place on an aircraft carrier from the Second World War. The person congratulating them is Major Hudson, the head of the boot camp. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my God, this is happening. It's now time for Marisol's dedication. She and her fellow sufferers are received one by one on stage by the entire command team. Right now, take that bracelet. Put it on. Hurry up. As a symbol of their new cadet rank, they receive a red bracelet with a motto, integrity. A great moment of pride for many, except for Nicholas, who keeps a rebellious spirit. It still just feels pretty neutral to me. For others, this ceremony marks the promise of a new life. Let me explain to you what just happened. You are a cadet. You are now wearing a uniform. Challenge starts now. You have school now. We will continue to challenge you because we believe in you and because you are worth it 24-7. Do you understand? Yes, Do you understand? Yes, Sergeant! How are we feeling? Good, Sergeant! How are we feeling? Good. Back at the base, the cadets have another emotional moment. Tonight, they have permission to have a five-minute phone call with their family. This is the first time since their arrival two weeks ago. And the military have kept the surprise in store for Marisol. With her sister's complicity, they have brought in her daughter, Reina. With her new cadet status, Marisol will now have the right to see her daughter for one and a half hours a week. Mommy got this for you. I got it because of you. I got it, baby. This bracelet means a lot. Because of this bracelet, I get to wear this uniform. And because of this uniform, I get to call myself a cadet. I want to be a role model. Like, I want to be somebody in life. Being a mom means the world to me. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, you got pregnant at 16. Like, what the heck? Like, that's sad. Like, yes, it is. Like, I shouldn't have. You know, but I don't regret it because of her, I'm here right now. Because of her, I'm trying to better myself. As Marisol has come to boot camp, she also gets a second chance at school. Without a high school diploma, it's difficult to get a job and take care of her daughter, Reina. Can she now make up for lost time? <laughs> <laughs> 